If you're going to fit a drop block to your rifle or pistol, you need to drill holes in the tube. This tube is off my XS79, it came with two holes in the sides ready drilled. But after talking to Ped and Jazzy Jeff about making the drop block more secure, I added a third hole at the top. When you drill a hole through a tube, the inside of that hole is like a razor blade. I'm not talking about the inside of the tube, that's nice and smooth because I've been into it with a file. But the inside of that hole where it meets the edge, the inside edge, is literally like a razor blade. If you push a drop block in, the o-ring will become scalloped like that one. It's got lumps chewed out of it. This is a drop block for a bloke that wants one for a pistol. So it's considerably smaller. But um, the, the same will apply to any o-ring that's pushed inside that tube. As the o-ring passes the hole, it expands into the hole. And then when you push it past the hole, it nips a tiny little slice off. Um, this o-ring is just a test piece. But when you put your o-ring in, all it wants is one nick. And that o-ring is ruined. Now what you need is a small file like this one. This is one that uh, Dave Thompson sent down from Newcastle. And what you do is go in at that sort of angle and gently take away the inside edge. Now I'm working on this edge, not that edge, this edge. And gently smooth it away. Work all the way around. You don't need it in a vice. It's actually better if you're holding it in your hand. Although coordinating the camera with it is a bit tricky. And that's all that you need. Gentle pressure. Take out all the roughness. You can actually feel it with the file. When there's roughness. You can feel it when it smooths off. And when you've done that. In with the emery paper. Just to trip, smooth it off a little bit more. And you'll find that your drop block now will go in a lot easier. And it will also seal properly. There you go. That's just a little tip to smooth the inside of the holes.